What's up, students? At the end of this lesson, you want to represent a set of data with a single central number. Actually, you could use three ways. You could use the mean, the median, or the mode. But today's focus will be the mean. One day, Mrs. Jacobs asked Paolo a question. Hey, Paolo, about how much daily allowance do you get each day? How much do your parents give you? Um, I know I got the following amount on Monday, 5, Tuesday, 5, Wednesday, $3, Thursday, 4, Friday, 8. They're all different. But what will I tell her? Now, let's help Paolo. This is how we're going to help Paolo. So, Paolo can respond by using the mean. Remember the word mean? It is commonly known as average. You've heard of that when your teachers say, this is your test average. Now, to solve for the mean, you have to do two things. Okay, remember these two things. Number one, add all the numbers in your data set. This is called the data set. And if you add all of this, you can use a calculator or add mentally, your total or your sum will be 25. But 25 will not represent a daily amount. Okay, So there is a second step. For the second step, you have to divide the sum by the number of data in the set. I will divide that 25 by what number? Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. There are five numbers in the data set. So 25 divided by 5, you get a 5. So what's the meaning of 5? Five? 5 is now called the mean, and Paolo would say to the teacher, Oh, teacher, I get an average of $5 daily. Now let's have practice number one. Let's read this. In a science experiment, the following are the height of three plants after a week. 12 centimeters, 15 centimeters, 8 centimeters. What is the mean height of the plant? Yes, we want to know the mean. Again, let's recall what is step one. Let's add all the numbers in the data set. So everybody now, 12 plus 15 and plus 8 and your total will be? Yes, it's 35. Okay, what's next? Step number two. After getting the sum, we know it's 35, I divide it by what number? Uh, yes, you will divide 35 by 3, correct. So 35 divided by 3 is 11, you will get a 33, you have a remainder of 2, you could use a fraction 2 thirds, or if you want to use a decimal, 11.6, you could use that. So what can we say now? mean height of the plant would be 11 and two-thirds centimeter. Let's now do example number two. The following are your math test results in the first marking period. 88, 78, 90, 187, and 75. What is your test average or your mean? Round to the nearest tenths. Okay, so let's start. You know you have to add all the numbers in the data set. And if you add all of this or use your calculator, your total or your sum will be correct, 518. Now let's move on to step number two. We know we have to divide the sum by the number of data in the set. How many datas are there in the set? Correct, that's six. Therefore, I divide my 518 by six. Use your calculator and your answer will be? Correct, 86.33, never ending 3, but the direction says round to the nearest tenths, so I could end on this decimal place, so that's going to be 86.3. Wow, that's my marking period average. This is a challenge question, let's read it. Your mom wants you to have an average of 90 in all the three exams in science. Since your first two exam results were 88 and 85, what grade would your third exam be so that the average will be 90? Wow, that's a different type of question. Meaning you already have uh, the 88, you already have the 85, 
but you don't know what the third exam is, but the average will be a 90. Wow. So let's try that. What will we do? Okay, first, I need to multiply the average by the expected number of data. Since I want it to be 90, and how many datas are there? 1, 2, and 3. I multiply 90 by 3, and I get 270. Meaning, all these 3 should add up to 270. Yeah, that makes sense. Therefore, if all these 3 should add up to 270, I just need to find this missing number. You could use your algebra or just do it mentally. Add these two, you have 173. And to find the missing number, what will I do? 270 minus 173, and I will get what? I'm going to get 97. So your expected grade in the third exams is 97. So don't forget, let's summarize what we've learned. To solve for the mean or the average, you need to do these two steps. Step one, correct. Add all the numbers in your data set. And step two, correct. Divide the sum by the number of data in the data set. Thank you for listening. See you next time.